Hello everyone, welcome back to Transform with Tori and today we're gonna disconnect to reconnect. Social media sites like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, they've all become such a normal part of our routine where we don't even think twice about whenever we're scrolling and wow, three, four hours have just passed by. That's where you could have been doing something more productive like maybe cleaning your room or finding a new hobby. There are a bunch of detoxes like food and a detox of your room, getting rid of clutter. We also need to give our minds a detox. We need to take a break from all of the social media sites that you're exposed to because it can lead to anxiety, stress, sleep problems, and you feeling lonely and just sad, overall sad mood. And if you're feeling like that, maybe it is time to take a detox. Now me personally, I haven't done one of these detoxes before. I have cut back on my social media use, but I haven't completely delete all of my apps. So what we're gonna discuss today is the steps on how to do a detox and why you should do one. Step number one is set your goals. Why do you want to do a social media detox? Is it for, are you feeling more stressed? Are you feeling more anxiety? Do you need to get more things done? Set a goal and set your why. I want to not be on social media for seven weeks because I'm feeling really stressed. You know, set that goal and put your why because when you put a why towards a goal, you'll be more motivated to get it done. And also choose a time limit. So time limits are really um, important as well. You need to know, all right, how long am I gonna do this detox for? Is it gonna be for a whole month? Is it gonna be for 15 days? Is it gonna be for a week? You need to be very specific with your goals and what time you're gonna be doing this detox for. Also, you need to inform your family and friends because if they are trying to get a hold of you through social media accounts and you don't respond, they're gonna think something really bad happened maybe. So you need to let them know, all right, I am doing this for X amount of days. Don't think that I'm ignoring you. It's for me, I'm doing this for me, and I will get back to you. You can text people, but not direct message on social media accounts. Step number two is log out of all of your accounts. And this can be a tough one because what if you haven't logged out in 10 years and you forget your account? But it's okay. I think the detox will be worth it. You could have saved that password or a username somewhere. You're gonna find it somewhere. And if you have to remake a new account, that's the feeling that, you know, we have to social media. We're like, oh my gosh, would I have to make another account? If you're feeling that stressed out about making a new account, maybe you need to rethink, all right, where is social media lined up on your priorities? You yourself should be on that top priority and social media should be down here. Or just delete the app from now, that's probably easier, easier route to just delete the app. Turn all your notifications off so that you're not tempted to look at anything. Now step number three is the best part. You get to discover more about yourself and not be so attached to your phone and to all those social media accounts. You can go for a nature walk, you can paint, read, do some dye activities, just find whatever you love to do. You know, you could even find new hobbies that you enjoy while you take this time for yourself. This whole experience is supposed to help you and give you benefits, give you more sleep, give you less stress, make you become more happier and the truer version of yourself. It's more of a behavioral addiction than anything. We turn to social media a lot of the times, even in the doctor's office, you'll be waiting and just it's just a habit. Oh, I'm gonna grab my phone and look through social media. Like, what else is there to do? Well, you know, take a moment and just be present. When you're more exposed to your surroundings, you're more open-minded to see what's around you and see what's available in the world. You're literally opening your eyes to opportunities and you'll see those opportunities once you're off your phone. There's also a screen time limit on your phone that you can choose to limit the amount of social media you want to do. So maybe if you don't want to quit 
cold turkey and you just want to see what it's like, then you can also limit your screen time. I limited mine for about an hour a day. I was on social media for about six, seven hours a day at one point. That's so much time out of the day. What else was I doing besides just scrolling? And it comes to the point where life is short and you want to spend it experiencing the world and connecting with others. I'm thankful for iPhones and how they tell you your screen time because I would have never known how much time I've been wasting just scrolling through social media. And every single time I was done scrolling, I didn't feel good about myself. I felt even less worthy of myself just comparing and I mean, it's just, it's just a, such a natural thing to do, but it's so easy to do when you're looking through everybody else's lives of the most perfect picture out there. But normally, I don't even really scroll anymore because I found, for example, I started a YouTube channel, so now that takes up a lot of my time to plan and film and edit. So I'm not necessarily on social media scrolling, I'm actually creating something, so find something to work on throughout the day. Whenever you come home from work or from school, find something that will keep your mind busy and that you love, that you enjoy doing. You'll forget about all those social media accounts. Instead of making social media a habit, make finding time for you a habit and discover more about yourself. Find a good book to read or go to a workout class and step out your comfort zone. This is a time to step out your comfort zone because whenever we are scrolling, that is your comfort zone. That's where we're comfortable. Step out and put your phone away. See what the world has for you to offer. There's a lot out there and until you're brave enough to explore the world and not be so dependent on your phone, you'll see. You'll see what's out there. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment in the description box below if you've ever done a social media detox and what your experience with it was. And also, to end that note, I'm gonna make a promise to myself that I will go on a social media detox November 1st through the 8th of 2019. Hold me accountable to it. I will do it. I will log out of my social media and just go for it. <laughs> so, I hope you all have a good weekend and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.